Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. Phil here, Phil here. I'm a little overclipped. Wait, wait, where are we? We are in Palo Alto, California, Phil. We are at the Cadillac event here in San Diego. We are here in London, and we are now in New Orleans. Here at the Moscone West Center in San Francisco, California. We are here in uh, Times Square, New York. We are in Barcelona, Spain. Welcome to uh, <laughs> IFA in Berlin. I am here in Seoul, South Korea. Yeah, Gangnam District, believe it or not. We are at the Mobile Nations and Geek Beat Meetup in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I managed to stay alive for so long looking like that. So for the past few months, I've been keeping track of my blood pressure and perhaps you just saw my video on that, where I've been using the wireless blood pressure cuff from Withings. But I've also been using their scale, and I've been using the scale a lot longer. In fact, I'm on my second version now. So it works the way a scale works. You stand on it, and it figures out how much you weigh. And that's great, but that's not even the most important part. The cool thing about this is you can use it with your entire family, and you don't even have to do anything. It just, it works automatically. Check this out. So here's the way it works. You set up all the users within the Withings app. So I've got myself, I've got my wife, and I actually have my two kids. And as they go and stand on the scale, it will initially say, hey, which person is this? And then it recognizes, all right, we've got somebody on here who's almost 200 pounds. No longer 200 pounds though, but almost 200 pounds. That's probably Phil or hey, here's somebody who's about 40, 50 pounds. All right, that must be Isabella, the little one, and in between. So it does a really good job of determining who's on the scale at any given time. So every time I weigh myself on the scale, it automatically kicks it back up to Withings back end over my Wi-Fi, and I don't have to do a thing. All I have to do is weigh myself naked every morning. Picture that for a minute, just I'll wait. Let that sink in. Hey Greg, do you drip dry first or do you weigh yourself wet? Oh yeah, you gotta, yeah, yeah. That's a, oh. Shake first, get the bolt off. <sighs> So this is where it gets really smart. This is the dashboard in the Withings app. And every time I share this, people ask what it is. So that's what it is. It's the Withings app. And here's my weight. So this keeps track of every data point, every time I have weighed myself way back into uh, 2014, it has every single point in here. And that's fine, that's good. I could obsess over each and every little uh, way that I do. What I really wanna look at is this thick trend line here. This really shows how much I've changed over time and not each and every little point. And you can see as we zoom in there, some of the points are higher, some of the points are lower, but it's that average, it's that trend line that's really what's been important to me. And I can see that I've gone from 210 down to less than 190 now. And even back in the day, it was up even higher. But it's that trend line that's really important here. Now this scale will also do things like measure your body composition. Uh, the newer scale will do body water percentage. And I actually just switched to this scale, so I'm gonna start getting those data points here shortly. And it will track your BMI, which some people say you need to keep a uh, close watch on, some say you don't, but you get a pretty good idea of what's going on. So here's the Withings app. It's relatively the same on uh, iOS as it is on Android. You've got your different users here up top. Timeline, dashboard, leaderboard, profile, reminders. Now Withings does tie into HealthKit, which is Apple's thing. It also ties into Google Fit on Android. So if that's what you use to keep track of all your stuff, it will automatically sync in there as well once you tie them together, no big deal. All right, so a couple things about the scale I wanna point out. One, it's got this glass acrylic, I don't know what, finish on the top here. And it picks up every little bit of dirt and dust. It shows every little drop of water or God knows what it's gonna get a little nasty. It's a little nasty here, and this is just in our office. This isn't even at home. You've got your display up top. Not a whole lot to be said about the underside. Comes with four AAA batteries, which you're gonna have to replace every now and then. It does a good job of showing you on the display, actually, when the battery's about to run out. I've maybe had to change it twice since I've had it. And then it has a little uh, syncing button that I don't think I've ever had to push after maybe the initial pairing. If you're putting it on a relatively hard surface like this or bathroom tile or whatever, you're good to go. Just put it down. Uh, you want it to be relatively level, but that's it. If you wanna use it on a rug or a carpet, you're gonna need to use the uh, four feet that actually come in the box with it. There's one, there's two, there's three, four feet. And they just stick on to each of the feet thusly and that will allow it to work on carpet. Kind of cool. 
Knowing how much you weigh is one thing, doing something about it is a totally other thing. I'm gonna go do something about it now at the gym. You be sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications so you see this and every other new video that drops in. So I'll see you later.